balsam mead from Silicon Bullet here with another useful uh, bookkeeping tips video. So uh, I got, I had a guy over in LA get in touch. He'd seen a video that I did in 2021 all about integrating zero with square and getting into a bit of a mess. And uh, the dog's just trying to tie me up with the lead, that's better. Um, getting into a bit of a mess and got in touch and uh, had a couple of sessions with him, showing him how to sort it all out, but actually doing some of the sorting myself for him. And I wanted to go over what I found just to give you some tips on how you could sort it out yourself. So basically when you do the integration between square and zero, square tries to be really helpful in getting everything into your uh, zero accounts package for you, but you need to then look at various things yourself. So what had happened was after everything had integrated, apart from the fact that the usual thing happens and uh, Square creates an invoice for your daily takings and then marks that invoice as paid to the relative accounts that you may have. So there's a Square clearing account where card receipts go, there's a cash clearing account where a cash payments go and they actually had an, an other clearing account where when they knew that somebody had paid by a cheque, maybe for a rent or something, that's where that money went. But that's as far as Square can go. It doesn't know what to do after that in Zero. So what it will end up doing is uh, you'll have an invoice where it's all much paid and then they also create a Square Fees account, uh, a Square Fees bill and mark that as paid to the Square Clearing account and then the balance of between the card payments they've taken less the fees will get put into your main bank account. Um, so you need to make sure that you reconcile things after that correctly in zero to finish it all off. It also had uh, kept a record of all the tips and put that into a tips clearing account. And there was another complication that a loan had been taken where you take some money in advance from Square and then they take the money automatically again from the card payments that it's had to pay the loan off. What this had left in the end on their accounts was a Square Clearing account that wasn't quite balanced, it still had a balance in it. When everything's sorted, it should actually be at zero. They had a whole load of money in a cash account but hadn't said what they'd actually done with the cash. If you're paying it into the bank, then when you see the money coming into the bank, you can do a bank receipt against cash clearing. But if you're actually spending that money on something, you'll need to put a bill in for what you bought and mark that as paid to the cash clearing account to clear that down. Equally, um, the tips that had been taken had been given out to the staff that had been working that day and that had also been taken from the cash. So for that, I needed to put a bill in where the um, payment account was to the Square Tips account and then I marked that as paid to the cash clearing account. And then the balance of the cash that was left, the directors will have put in their pockets because they weren't paying it into the bank. So again, I did a bill that went to owner's drawings and I marked that as paid to the cash clearing account. Something a little bit weird had gone on as well in that the loan payments didn't quite match what was going on there and nowhere had Square put in the interest that they paid on the loan. So I, you, we ended up, the loan was fully paid off but there was still a little bit of a balance there. So again I put that balance over to uh, loan interest paid to clear that account off. So there's all these little things. Now the way I spotted what needed to be done and what I needed to query with the client was I ran a balance sheet for the period and on that balance sheet all these different square accounts appeared. There were five different square accounts. There was the square balance account where the balance of the credit cards had gone. There was a cash clearing account. There was a loan account. There was a tips account and there was an other uh, clearing account. 
So the other thing that was happening was when somebody came and paid for something with getting wound round, getting wound round with the lead again. Daisy, she's just down there. There she is. Um, so basically, when somebody pays you with a cheque and you do that as a square transaction, marks the invoice as paid and it puts the payment to this other clearing account. Then when you actually go to your bank and hand the cheque over and it appears in your bank reconciliation, they had been allocating that against sales when actually the sale has already been taken account of in that square invoice. So what you needed to do was when you pay the cheque over the counter into the bank, you needed to actually just allocate that to the other clearing account. So if you're using square integration, run a balance sheet. If you see balances in lots of different square accounts that you don't think should be there, then you need to do some more entries in your zero to tidy it all up. If it's all a little bit overwhelming and you can't work out what you need to do, then do get in touch. Alison Mead at Silicon Bullet. Uh, look for siliconbullet.com and message me through there. Or look for uh, Alison Mead at Silicon Bullet on LinkedIn and send me a message that way. And I can do a Teams meeting with you. I can have a look at it with you and help you get it all sorted. And in this case, uh, it was all a bit needed doing quickly and the client was a little bit overwhelmed by it all. So they actually gave me all their information that allowed me to um, use some reports from Square, double check it all there and get it all organised for them so that their account's correct. Otherwise you are in danger of having these balances you can't explain, not having kept your Square charges properly up to date and in this case they had been overstating their sales which means they would have paid more tax than they needed to on their income so you need to get it all sorted so that's another little video on square integration very similar for other products you know any integration into zero in the end they make it seem like it's really easy and the system does it all for you but you will find that there are just these little loose ends that you need to tie up in the end and to maybe understand what the software is doing so that you can get your accounts right. Right, that's Alison on another dog walk with Daisy the dog. There she is, a bit blurry in the background and uh, get in touch if you've got any problems with your bookkeeping and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.